where a lot of our employees are sure asking themselves, why all the changes? Uh, is it change for the sake of making change? Uh, I would say absolutely not. You know, as, as I have stated uh, in the past, and I've stated for the last 30 to 40 years, I believe that our primary responsibility is the prevention of crime. And I will tell you that every change that we have made during my short time here has been for the purpose of putting us in, in the very best position of being able to prevent crime more effectively. While we've done some phenomenal things, uh, way prior to Robert White being the chief of police in Denver Police, uh, the Denver Police Department, I think the Denver Police Department has done some great things. I do believe, though, however, that we can do a better job as it relates to preventing crime. And in order to make that happen, we just simply had to make some structural changes, and some of them have been relatively significant. But I really want the troops to know, and I want the community to know, that every last one of those changes is, from my perspective, has been done for the purpose of making us more effective in preventing crime from occurring. I know there's been a lot of questions about our new, uh, our new mission statement, which is the essence of preventing crime uh, uh, in a fashion where everyone's treated with dignity and respect. Now, does that mean that you don't lock up the person that committed the robbery? Absolutely, you locked up the person that committed the robbery, and they need to have their day in court, and whatever the outcome is, is what the outcome should be, more than likely. However, that person still is entitled to be, de be treated with dignity and respect. You know, and as, as, and I've had conversations with individuals who tell me that the police officers feel like they don't matter. Police officers absolutely matter, but I think what we all have to be mindful of is, what, our, what is our primary purpose? Why are we police officers? Why are we here every single day? Why are we collecting a check? And we're collecting that check because we get paid to provide a service to this community, and ultimately that, that is judged on our ability to prevent crime from occurring. And if we're going to be effective in preventing that crime from occurring, the greatest resource we have other than those police officers that are out there driving big white every single day are the citizens, the 620,000 citizens that live in this community. The reality of it is citizens are more willing to work with us if they know us, if we treat them with dignity and respect, and if they have a voice as it relates to the quality of life of issues in their neighborhood. That's why we have the team policing. Uh, that's why we change the district and the precinct boundaries. All of those are being done uh, for the purpose of putting us better connected with the community and thereby making us more effective as it relates to what I think our ultimate responsibility is, and that's preventing crime from occurring. I absolutely love Denver. There's been some surprises, some great surprises. I'll tell you the number one surprise has been the weather. I had no idea that uh, it was 300 plus days of sunshine in Denver. You know, when you're, when you're sitting on the East Coast and you're watching the Broncos play a, a playoff game, it seems like it's always in a snow blizzard and I'm saying to yourself, God, you wouldn't want to live there. But man, once I got here and I saw the, the wonderful weather and how, the, how kind people are, uh, I mean, there's the diversity of this city. My wife is big into the arts. Uh, the arts are, are many fold as it relates to the city. She's had an opportunity to be, in, uh, to be engaged in many different forms of arts. Uh, this community has truly embraced us. And not to mention, you know, I'm a big sports guy. I'm a big professional sports guy. Uh, while I'm a diehard Washington Redskins fan, I've learned to love the Denver Broncos.